الله الرحمن الرحيم our case today very interesting two month old boy known case of congenital hydrocephalus presented with symptoms and signs suggestive increase in tracheal tension uh, patient present with abnormal behavior and seizure, persistent vomiting, and poor feeding. Clinical assessment 5S, the skull, full pouch, anterior fontanel, and increased head size. Regarding to the eye, sunset eyes. Why the best patient having sunset eyes? It's due to pressure on mesencephalic tegmentum and paralysis of upward gaze and also the spine no meningomyelocele and the sphincter there is petulous anus and seizure lower limb spasticity lower limb spasticity this is the clinical assessment of patient with hydrocephalus 5s the skull, the squint or sunken eyes, the spine, the sphincter, and seizure or spasticity of the lower limb. Assessment, our assessment, this is rapid onset hydrocephalus. This is one of the medical emergency for which pediatric neurosurgery consulted. Pediatric neurosurgery consulted for evaluation, assessment, and management. Pediatric surgery came and start to assess the baby clinically, laboratory, and imaging. Clinically, same finding, 5S, this patient having a skull, full pulge anterior fontanel, increased head size, and eye sunken, uh, sunset, eyes and the spine no meningocele petulous anus this is a sphincter in the spasticity of the lower limb and seizure uh, laboratory assessment no specific blood test to diagnose hydrocephalus and he request for ct brain ct brain uh, diagnostic for hydrocephalus based on size of post temporal horns is greater than to millimeter so start medications and start medical and surgical treatment what is the medical and surgical treatment of the hydrocephalus medical treatment acetazolamide with or without frozamide it will decrease the secretion and production of the csf and you can give anti-epileptic medication to control the seizure antibiotic if there is suggestion or evidence of ventriculitis or meningitis uh, can do serial lumbar puncture or serial ventricular uh, puncture and the surgical treatment it will be vb shunt vb shunt what is the prognosis of such cases depend on the cause of the hydrocephalus and the associated malformation so the key point the message from the case what is hydrocephalus hydro this is mean water cephalus this is mean brain this mean water in the brain water in the brain or progressive enlargement of the ventricular system why because imbalance between the production of the csf and absorption production and absorption what is the most common cause of hydrocephalus in utero aqueductal stenosis aqueductal stenosis or neural tube defect there is other causes brain tumor and the sherry malformation then the worker malformation what is the type four types communicating non communicating normal pressure and also congenital hydrocephalus ex vacuo this is the types of the hydrocephalus how to assess the hydrocephalus clinically and laboratory imaging clinically 5s the skull spine in the uh, uh, sunset uh, eyes and the spasticity of the lower limb or seizure and the sphincter laboratory no specific blood test to diagnose hydrocephalus imaging you can do ultrasound ct mri based on the clinical assessment what is the treatment medical and surgical medical treatment diuretics acetazolamide to decrease the secretion or production of the csf anti-epileptic medication to control the seizure antibiotic there is ventriculitis or meningitis surgical treatment vp shunt what is the prognosis depend on the cause of the hydrocephalus and associated malformation